Hey everyone, what is going on? It's Colin C back from the Crypto Boys and we have our Crypto Weekly wrap up today on Sunday, Easter Sunday. So happy Easter to all of you guys out there. We appreciate you guys being with us and hope you guys are having a great day. Joe and I are supposed to be shooting a video later today. He gets home like six or seven. I don't know if we're going to shoot one that late or not because we've got a ton of research to do and I've been doing a bunch of research all morning. So again, we're not sure exactly when our new Sologenic video is going to be coming out, but it is going to be coming out soon. We've got a, um, a bunch of the kind of just different research on it that we do want to share with all you guys, looking things up, going through every article we possibly can, and you know we'll get as much as we can in it. We're, we're going to miss some stuff. We're going to make other videos about it, but we're going to get out some, uh, some reasons as to why we put such a big bag on it and a couple other things. But that's not what about this wrap up is about today. This wrap up isn't even about what's going to happen next week because I really don't care. I don't care about Bitcoin right now. I don't care about crypto right now, about what's going to happen next week. I don't care about the day to day process. I care. And what I want to talk about is where did every crypto start? If you think about it, where did every single crypto start? Obviously, ICOs and all that stuff come out. But for the most part, everything started at zero, right? Bitcoin was once not believed to be believed to be completely fake. No one wanted in it. There was very few people on the planet that thought it was any good. I remember there's one guy, I forgot his name right now, always hanging out with Carl of the Moon, was telling you to buy Bitcoin. Was telling you to buy Bitcoin and you at the time have had no idea this was going on like me or you're a different person who were laughing at him. Those were the only two people you are because let's be honest, if you if you knew and you bought some, you're rich as heck right now probably or you were laughing at him saying this stuff is fake, it's not going to work. Think about that. Everything started at zero. What the difference was and what happened to Bitcoin, even though I think it's all its functionality, its utility, what's going to happen with the store of value, um, fighting some inflation stuff, whatever argument you want to make that you like for Bitcoin, I don't even care. How, why, why you like it, why you're in the crypto space, that's fine. You believe in that. One argument, no matter what, that has to be made is belief. Somebody had to believe in it get someone else to believe in it. Someone had to make it and have someone else buy it. And then they wanted to pay more and they wanted to pay more. And they're realizing, whoa, this stuff's actually pretty cool. It's the same thing with these smaller altcoins. Guess what? They're going to be the 100 X's, as I've said a million times, are going to be harder and harder to find and fewer and farther in between because you're not going to be able to find them as much. But they're still out there and there's still thousand X's out there. You just have to find the belief, the ones that you truly believe in. Even if Joe and I crap on your coin, you're like, hey, this is the best thing ever. That's fine. If you believe in it and that is exactly what you wanted and you love this project and it's truly something that that you think and you've done your own research that is going to make you millions, then you've got to find your own Bitcoin, right? That's that's our case. That's what Joe and I are trying to do. That's why we come on here. But you've got to be willing to say unapologetically, this is what I love. These are these are the few coins that in 10, 15, 20 years is where I want to be. And if you look out that far enough, that is ultimately how you're going to make money in this space. Nobody, and I mean nobody, had made millions and billions off of Bitcoin unless they truly believed in it and were willing to hold through these insane times that Bitcoin went through and all these other cryptos. So you can learn a lot just by believing in the space and believing in the projects you believe in. Um, you don't have to get everything super early. You don't have to just you know do something crazy with your money and put money in that you can't afford to lose and invest in all stuff. You need to find good projects. Listen to people that you trust that are giving you honest answers and honest reviews because that's all Joe and I got. We got our integrity. We're on here. We're coming on here every single day. We're telling you exactly what we feel exactly what we're buying and exactly how things are going for us and what projects we believe in. You can look all that stuff up on your own. We put it all out there. And if you're willing to take that ride for years and years, I guarantee you that is how you're going to become a millionaire. You know what? You know me. I own my own business. I don't have anything backing me up. So making this work on our own. Same with Joe. Joe's got a ton of student loans. I mean, ridiculous amounts. He's got to make up a lot of stuff on his own as well. He's got a little 401k and all that stuff going. But that is ultimately why we come on here every single day. Um, and that is exactly why and how people are going to get rich in crypto. It's you've got to believe in what you believe in and you've got to be unapologetic about it. Go after it, take it, hold it and make good decisions in the process. And eventually crypto is going to do exactly what it should do. Who cares about tomorrow? Who cares about the next day? Who cares if Bitcoin goes up to 70,000? It doesn't matter. It's going to work out. All right, guys, I appreciate you rocking with the fittest crypto channel on YouTube. That's all I got.